Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you the different ways of creating a range selection in MuseScore. A range selection means everything within a certain range, from a given start point to an end point, and MuseScore will indicate this by drawing a blue rectangle around the selection. And these selections are very important in MuseScore because it's what you need in order to do copy and paste, and really a lot of other operations that work on range selections. So the simplest way to create one, if you want the contents of one given measure to be selected, is just click an empty area within that measure. So if I click an empty area in this measure here, now I have a blue rectangle around it and that entire measure is selected. I can then copy it and paste it elsewhere and everything else that I can do with a range selection. If you wanna select more than a single measure, well, you can select one that way and then shift click another measure. Shift click an empty spot there and it will select all the measures between the first one you clicked and the one that you shift clicked. And that's a, a very common mechanism across a lot of programs. Click one thing, shift click something else, and it selects everything between them. In MuseScore, you're not limited to doing this on an entire measure. You can also click a single note and then shift click another note and it will select everything between those notes, even though the note that I started with wasn't at the beginning of the measure, so I've really only selected a partial measure there and only a partial measure at the end. You're also not limited to a single staff. I can click one note on one staff and shift click a note on another staff and it will select across both staves. Now those are common ways of doing selection in MuseScore that involve the mouse, but there's also keyboard only ways of creating range selections. And these also are based on how a lot of other programs work. If you think about a word processor, if you've got your cursor on a particular character and you press shift right, it will extend the selection to encompass that character. And every time you press shift right, it's going to make that uh, selection bigger and bigger, and the same in MuseScore, note by note. So if I've clicked a note and I press shift right, it extends the selection to the next note. Shift right again, extends to the next note, shift right again to the next note, and so forth. In most word processors, shift, well, if you press control right, it will move the cursor to the next word, and shift control right will extend the selection by a word. In MuseScore, shift control right will extend the selection by a measure. So it will extend the measure one, uh, the selection one measure at a time every time I press that shortcut. On uh, Mac, remember, command instead of control. So uh, you can also use shortcuts like uh, shift control end to select all the way to the end of the score. Shift control end selects to end of score. And if your keyboard doesn't have a physical end key, like mine does not, FN, there's usually an FN key or similar key on your keyboard, FN plus right is almost always the, uh, the synonym for end. So shift, control, FN right will select from wherever you are to the end of the score. You can also often use uh, shift up and down to extend the selection between staves. So if I have this first measure selected and then I press shift down, it will select the next stave below. This works only if the rhythms line up just so because if there's if there's overlaps, it may or may not work. But uh, in this case, uh, the, the rhythm, you know, I was going to the end of the measure, so it worked just fine. So these are uh, pretty much most of the ways of creating range selections in MuseScore, which will again be really useful when you want to do copy and paste and all sorts of other operations.